Mr. Chairman, I have um, just for the board's edification and, and, and hopefully uh, response. Uh, in the past, it's been the position of the Board of Selectmen that when we have people from human service agencies coming in and requesting funds, mm -hmm. that they be level to the previous year. Mm -hmm. uh, and for those that are not uh, requesting level funding, that they're requested to submit a second, a, a petition warrant article, uh, because the board would not put the, the funds into the uh, human service agency funding request. I have received two such requests, which exceed the appropriation limits from the previous years, and I just want to know if that particular position is the same for the board as it has been in the past. So I know whether or not to send the letters out. And uh, shall we uh, make a motion to keep that level of funding? I'm looking for a motion or a response if we can do that right now. Or shall we bring this up at the next meeting? Level funding for social services agency for next year. To unless, the unless, unless they come forward, is that what it was? Well, they, the previous boards have said they need to come forward with a petition or an article if they're going to increase their spending or request to increase their spending. I don't mind it being in there as, as level funded and if they want to come in for any increase, I don't want to see the chance, you know, that leaves them the opportunity to, you know, but if, if you come in for requesting a whole new line item on it, they get a chance of losing everything. I mean, that's... Well, no, they're, in one case they're asking for a 100% rate increase. Uh, in another case, they're only asking for a $230 rate increase. So, I mean, I, I, it doesn't bother. I just need to know how to write the letter. If you want me to write the letter, do you want us to have them petition for the entire amount of the article or just for the increase? I would say for the increase. That's my Increase, sir. What do you recommend, Fred? The increase would be better because that way they would not lose their, at least their base fund rate. Okay, I agree. I, I agree. When Human Services started requesting money back in the 80s, mm -hmm. we determined as a budget committee that they should petition once, and if the public approved that particular agency, then they would be fed into Health and Human Services in the budget. But of course, some enterprising individual under the prior manager uh, decided to yank that out so the budget didn't look so big. Uh, I think it, it's an imposition on the public to have them continually having to deal with a huge number of warrant articles. And in this case, for Health and Human Services, I think it's silly. I think we should put their request, if they're giving us some material to back it, adjust the request on the line that goes to the budget committee because the budget committee is going to be dealing with all this let the budget committee figure out what they want to do the health and human services segment is minuscule compared to the entire town budget so if they want an extra whatever and you feel reasonable that they justified it and they have the public hearing to come to if Make the adjustments on the lines. I don't want to see any more petition warrant articles than we have to have. I think a I, I agree with Mary Louise. A warrant article is problematic. I uh, am, am starting to uh, receive initial revenue estimates, uh, and uh, it's uh, um, it's problematic and challenging for all the budget requests we hear. Uh, I think if anyone came in here and said they wanted a hundred percent increase in their line, um, they would uh, we would take a look at it. I agree that the warrant article. Uh, proliferation is encumbersome and difficult for the voter. And so uh, why don't we respond to Fred offline via email, and then you can announce what our plan of action going forward, sir. Very good. Thank you for raising the issue. Thank you. Yes, sir.